Hello and welcome to the Future Fuel Cafe. In this video, we're gonna be looking at two of my favorite AI video editors slash actually video creation tools that I have come across this year. And I really think they're revolutionary in what they can do. I use them for different purposes. And since I've actually looked at them, played around with them, one of them I've made previous videos about, well, actually both of them I made videos about previously. Both of the AI tools have their own reasons as to why you'd wanna use them. And they make real differences to your workflow. And really, yeah, I, I just think they're game changing again. So these two tools that we're gonna be looking at, the first one is called Opus clip and the second one we're going to be looking at is something called in video ai both of the ai tools have their own case scenarios as to why you'd want to use them so the first ai tool we're going to be looking at is called opus clip and i've made many different videos about this already and i just really can't say enough about it basically takes your long form video content and re edits it with AI, which again, still crazy, and creates viral shorts from your long form content in a nutshell. And again, I've made videos previously going into much more detail about it, how you can use it and what it actually does. So if you wanna have a look at those videos, they're linked down below in the video description. But quickly, I'm just gonna tell you my actual reasons to why I think it's really amazing, why I love it. The first one is that it saves you money. What I mean by that is normally you've got two options really, haven't you, when it comes to sort of redoing video content you know you can either first off do that with your time so basically you are putting time aside to then make these shorts and i think if you enjoy doing that or you have the time to do that then i think again it's really amazing to go and do that and you can make you know the shorts very specific to what you want them to be about right you know a specific topic a specific subject or you know something that's happening in the news whatever you make content about but also the second one is you can obviously then outsource it so you would outsource though that video to be redone in into shorts by a video editor or a, you know another company you know but either way you're outsourcing it which costs you money it also costs you time explaining what you want how you want it to look and you know maybe going back and forth making a few re-edits doing a couple of different things like that it still takes time but you know it saves you more time than you actually editing it yourself if you want to save money and you also want to save time and you want to make you know a bulk lot of video shorts from your long form content then you would want to use opus clip the ai ranks the videos it creates you know viral titles viral content it puts in the viral captions that are like the alex hormozy style with the colors and then the the emojis in there for extra punch you know on specific bits that you want to emphasize to the audience the other one that i really like is the actual overall experience of using the website, using the AI is very intuitive. There's other websites out there that do the same sort of thing as Opus Clip, you know, but I find it very over cumbersome. It's very hard and difficult just to, just to basically do something that you want it to be streamlined and easy, you know? The AI software, just to say whoever behind the scenes <laughs> made this technology or did the coding or however it works, I don't know, but whoever designed it, incredible job. This time last year, as far as I know, software like this didn't exist as far as I'm aware. You know, being able to, again, make your, take your videos and make them into viral shorts. The AI does all of this for you. So as an overall for Opus Clip, I really think it is absolutely amazing. And just to say, are there any negatives? I think really from when it first started, there was a couple of things that I said, you know, being able to edit the captions easier, being able to, you know, add the colors, do this with the emojis, make the length of the video longer, shorter, just make it more, uh, again, easy you know since then they've listened to that information and they've already made the changes so really i don't really have any negatives for this i think really it's an amazing tool it aids you it saves you money and it does really good viral videos and the other final thing that i wanted to say is that you can also get a free account on this and you can also then do the paid version as well so if you've never used it or come across it and you're like what's it like is it going to cost me before you actually go and spend your money i recommend this to anyone and everyone who watches any of my videos or any product that I speak about. I respect the fact that money is very hard to earn, come by, especially during these times as well. So if there's some software that's gonna obviously cost you money, before you do it, try it out and see if it works for you. Just because I'm going on about it doesn't mean it is gonna work for you necessarily. Now, the second tool we're gonna be talking about is called InVideo AI. Now, InVideo itself, you may be familiar with the name because it's actually an online video editor. You can create videos on their platform, basically just over the internet. And it's, I know it's very popular 
popular, it's done very well, and it's one of the main ones as far as I know. But the thing that I'm interested in is the AI part that they put in at the end, which recently I've seen it advertised more with different YouTubers, different content creators, and just in the news in general, talking about this AI part. What is it? What does it do? What can it do, you know? And basically what it can do is off of one prompt that you put in, it will create a whole video for you, whether you want it to be a short or if you want it to be a long piece, you know, if you make a channel that is a, a faceless YouTube channel, for example, and you talk about travel, well, then you could put in a prompt, for example, the top 10 best places to go in Europe in the summer. And what it will do is it will take the prompt and from that prompt, it will create the whole video based around the 10 places that you've asked it to do, you know, just the title itself. You don't have to put in and say these 10 places you can do if you want, but just making it that basic from the prompt, you choose the AI voiceover, which you can be female, male, and you can make it sound American, transatlantic, uh, English, British, and you have a very good mix of options there. And they actually sound pretty decent, a lot of them. Then it creates this whole video using stock video footage, and it creates the whole video <laughs> from that. And it's insane, from a single prompt. And never did I think I would see this happen in whatever, I have never even thought about it. But I mean, again, I've been thinking, you know, since you've now got AI image generation, you know, I love Mid Journey, for example. Well, that's off a single prompt. Obviously you can make it more detailed, but it will still create a detailed image from a very basic prompt. Now the same has happened with video. And this is the point of where I'm like, wow, there's no turning back with this. Why do you need a camera? Why do you need audio, this, that, lighting, when you, I could just sit, here and type in something and create a video. Like Opus Clip, you get a free trial to go ahead and use it, see if it works for you, play around with it, see if you even like it. And if you do, then obviously you can go ahead and pay for a subscription and use it. And if not, then you've tried it for free and you've not lost anything. Before we end the video, I wanna talk about the positives and the negative impacts both of these tools and similar tools on the market right now that are available on the market right now sort of have on you as the creator, how are you gonna be affected by this, what I personally think, how I will see it going, and we'll sort of go from there. So first off, do I like these tools uh, with what they offer? Yes, simply, I think both of them for what they say on the tin, what they offer, in my opinion, a 10 out of 10. And I think with things like this, with the actual software, if it's used in the right way, it's an aid for you, it's an aid for your work process. So what do I mean by that? For example, I've been doing video creation now for six and a half years, yeah, about six and a half years. I am self-taught on, that's why I love YouTube, I am a massive, a massive fan of YouTube because I learned all of that through YouTube, right? So what I mean by that is I've had to do those hard yards in the sense of what does this do? What does that do? What does this look like when I go to press film? You know, all of those questions I've had to go out and either find out for myself, find out on YouTube, but then, you know, take the theory and put it into practice, you know, the practical side of it effectively. If this AI software now, which has improved my workflow so much, you know, like even with my podcasts, Again, the AI software really helps me. But if all of that was to go tomorrow in terms of the AI software, I would still know how to edit a video because that's a hard skill, right? That's what I mean. These tools are amazing, but if you are someone watching this right now who's never picked up a camera in their life or anything like that, but you want to, A, well, absolutely, you should go out there and create and make videos. Get a camera, go and do things, talk to it, whatever you want, just be creative and have fun enjoy it but if you're someone who's just seeing this now and it's like oh this is my opportunity to money you know to striking it big and i hope it is obviously ask yourself and be honest with yourself if this was to go off now and you're using in video ai for example and you're relying on it to make all these videos for you together if this software was to go out tomorrow and you were then stuck with the old way to do it would you know how to do that you know it's like would you still, would your business still be successful if the main tool you're relying on could be turned off? What's your backup plan for that? Everything is in a balance, but you've got to learn it as a hard skill first and then use this as an aid along the way. When I hear people saying, oh, AI is going to take over the world, it's going to take jobs, it's going to do this, it's going to do that, we are going to lose our industry maybe. Well, let me just be blunt about it. I fully agree with that. I fully agree with those statements. In the future, my work is gonna look very different. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I have no idea. I can guess, I can predict, but I could be very wrong. So the thing that I can do right now is learn the software, learn what it's doing, 
understand it. So as the future, you know, comes at us, as this technology keeps evolving and jobs change, I have more leverage in my industry as a video creator, a video editor, maybe compared to someone else who hasn't bothered to go ahead and learn it for whatever reasons, it puts me ahead. It allows me to still have an income, it allows me to still have a job. And I say that in a good way as well, because technology is going to advance whether we like it or not. You have two options to either put your head in the sand or look now and think this is an amazing opportunity to learn. My point is this information is out there. And if you really want to learn about it right now, it's free, it's there. The only thing it costs is your time and your investment of how serious you want to take it. So let me know what you think of it, how it affects you. Do you agree with what I'm saying? Do you not? Let me know whatever you think in the comments down below. But other than that, I just want to say a final thank you so much for watching the video. I really hope you found it useful and helpful. And I really, again, love making these videos. So thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.